Hey guys, it's Joe with Modern Survival Sense. I've got another fixed blade review for you, or overview rather. Uh, before you is a Condor Village Parang. I picked this up recently, within the last year. I haven't had a whole lot of use with it, but it's something I was very excited about. It is a new design and was relatively hard to come by at first. Um, Condor is a company out of El Salvador making knives out of 1075 carbon steel. Like I said, this is the Village Parang. The Village Parang can be had on, I believe it is eBay for, well, I when I got this, it was about less than $60. And look at the sheath on that. It's made of very thick uh, leather and very, you know, heavy-duty snaps and Let's see, we've got the Condor logo on that side. Let's see, Condor since 1787. They've been making knives that long, that is pretty impressive. That's longer than most of the knife companies out there today. All right, like I said, this is the sheath that it comes with. A lot of people complain about it. I really don't know why because there's nothing to complain about. This is a heavy duty leather sheath, double snaps to hold it in place. Then it's not going anywhere. The leather on everything is really thick, very fantastic. The stitching on this, I mean, look at this, it's uniform. I don't know. Um, it does have a dangler sheath that rotates, so you could hang it from your belt however you choose. All right, pulling the knife from the sheath. You don't want to pull it out this way actually. Typically you want to hold it from here and pull it out so that the blade of the knife is not uh, on the same side as your hand in case it were to go through there. Not saying it will, look at the thickness of this. It, the thickness, it's not going to go through it. But for safety matters, this is how you want to pull it from it. Just like that. And same with putting it back up. You, you want to have your hand on this side and then put it in just like so. But anyways, this is the Village Parang. This is a, um, a modern take on an old world design. It's been around for a long time. Um, I believe Joe Flowers uh, designed this. It's, a very, it's actually a very thick blade. Let's see, thickness on that is over 3 eighths of an inch. Not quite a quarter inch, but this has got a lot of blade. It's got that uh, forward, you know, it put, puts the handle back here so the blade is forward and it gives you a lot of chopping force. And that's what this is, is primarily a chopping knife. The design is a Central American design, I believe. I say it's a, a modern take on it, being that it's so thick and the handle design on it. But it's a very cool knife. It has a, a faux finish on that, that faux uh, hammered look to it that I liked. Look at that. It's a convex ground, actually, and it's very sharp. And the design of the blade lends itself to being uh, used in many different ways. I mean, you could have your, your hand, you know, holding it here to do finer tasks or pulled back here to uh, you know make your your shavings for your you know fires you could use it as a draw knife if you so choose or chose now granted this is not the highest grade knife on or highest quality knife on the market but then again you're paying less than sixty dollars for this knife this is a beast of a knife this thing weighs in at Oh, almost two, well, it's just over a pound, I guess. Pound nine ounces, 8.9. That's without the sheath. With the sheath, comes in at almost two pounds, or one pound, 15 ounces. So this is a heavy-duty knife. Uh, you could use this for anything you wanted to um I said some some of the finer tasks that you would normally use a bushcraft knife or something smaller for it won't handle quite as well as those smaller knives will. But then again, the smaller knives can't chop down a tree, and 
you wouldn't want to risk uh, batoning with them. Whereas this, you really don't have a whole lot of issue there. Um, now, it is a full tang design. The handle scales are pinned on. And you have this nice nub back here so that you could, you know, get really far back and it's not going to slide out. It provides really good retention. You have a lanyard hole here. Let's see. For being such a big knife, you do actually have quite a bit of control. All right, guys. Well, that is the Village Parang from Condor Knife and Tool. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Post any comments in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Joe. See ya.